This is Matt Pierce. Jesus Christ gave us the goals, but Gandhi gave us the tactics. Hi everyone, I'm Matt Pierce. Uh, welcome uh, to our show. We can call this kind of the Christmas show, I guess, because we, we're not going to have another show until after Christmas and New Year. So um, we've got, uh, so you better introduce yourselves, I think. Um, uh, who's here? Who, 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 who's next to me? All right, I'm uh, Simon Lee Kaho, and I'm so glad to be in the last show of 2009. Ah, okay. Yes. And who else have we got? And I'm back, I'm Kenneth Lee. Okay, so and you guys are going to be coming here. Well, Simon's going to be here, uh, my regular guest, and Kenneth um, is going to be here every two months, isn't he? Yes. Uh, and we've also got Ken, our coordinator. Yes. Hello. You're going to be well behaved today, Ken. Is that why? <laughs> <laughs> That's not my style. <laughs> <laughs> you got to see it. <laughs> okay, so we want to get straight in, I think, and um, talk about... Um, we've got a few issues we want to talk about. We, later in the show, we're going to talk a bit about Copenhagen um, and Hong Kong's views of that. Um, but in the first half, we want to um, talk about um, the, the big story, the big political um, story in Hong Kong, talking about the five uh, constituencies referendum and um, which has obviously uh, been there's been quite a bit of news uh, in Hong Kong um, uh, but I thought to start off with just to set the scene um, in, in order for our international audience because <clears throat> hopefully we've got quite a few um, people from different countries and especially Chinese people um, in other countries uh, listening but I thought we'd better just to qu- briefly explain again um, I tried to in the last show actually um, uh, but I've done a, I've, got, I've got done a bit a bit, bit more research and <clears throat> someone very kindly has put the um, definition of um, the five con- uh, constituencies referendum on Wikipedia. So if uh, anyone uh, would, is interested, they can type that in and, and they can get a, the best definition, really. But let me just qu- briefly explain uh, um, a bit of background, exactly uh, what's happening in, in, uh, in Hong Kong. Basically, it says on Wikipedia, um, a few sentences, it says, the five constituencies referendum is a political act planned by Democrats of Hong Kong. The plan is to have one legislator resign from each of the five geographical constituencies, then stand again in the resulting by-elections. The idea is to let every registered voter in Hong Kong have a chance to vote on a single topic, which is likely to be universal suffrage, within, within, within a clear t- uh, time frame towards the elections of the legis- legislative uh, uh, legislature, uh, le- legislature and executive of the Hong Kong government as promised by the basic law. Because the government refuses to hold an official referendum, the Democrats hope this can be a de facto referendum on the speedy implementation of democracy in Hong Kong. So that's basically the, the plan. Um, but the latest situation is the, uh, the Democratic Party in the past few days have had a, um, a big vote. They basically invited all their, their members uh, and had a, had a big vote. Uh, and the, the, the result of that vote is that 81% of their members, uh, and apparently 280 members turned up, uh, 81% decided to um, vote uh, against this plan, basically, that um, the League of Social Democrats and the Civic Party have had, uh, which certainly, um, well, it was expected, wasn't it? Mm. It, it, um, it was expected, but obviously it's in stone now that the Democratic Party have, have basically uh, uh, totally against it. Um, so, I mean, what are your uh, initial thoughts, you guys? Simon, uh, do you want to... Um, uh, um, on the, so the, the, what's happened as regards the Democratic Party yes. this, in the past few days. Lots of people describe mm. the, uh, the end result of the vote uh, in the sense that it is like uh, the Democratic Party is committing suicide. In a sense that, first of all, they are putting themselves in a quite a difficult position because when uh, after today we know that both the Civic Party uh, uh, and the LSD are definitely going ahead mm. uh, in terms of the mass resignation. So you have the Civic Party on board for sure as well. So which means that uh, next year, uh, next January probably, you will have the five legislators going to resign. Uh, which means that if the end result of this uh, de facto referendum is a big yes, then it's, uh, uh, as we know, because, you know, LSD usually uh, is not quite... Uh, Broad support sort of party, right? Mm. It's a bit, a bit uh, on the on the on the end of the spectrum. Uh, so 
if they really succeed in terms of gaining their seat, which means that you do have a lot of people uh, supporting the issue, perhaps mm. the referendum issue, mm. uh, instead of just just the candidates. Uh, if that's really the case, I think these people who voted yes in the referendum in terms of universal suffrage, or we don't know the election, the referendum issue yet, but but they would be definitely quite disapp- uh, very disappointed with the Democratic Party, mm. and if the result is not that satisfactory. Uh, at the end, people would also blame the Democratic Party for not really putting their whole heart in this issue. Mm. So in either case, I think they are really uh, designing their own graves at the moment. Yeah. So you think that um, in many ways, uh, as a result, many people might um, take away their support uh, from the Democratic Party and either put it to, towards LSD or the Civic Party. Um, it is possible in terms of um, you know people's um, you know people out there who uh, are, are I mean um, at least if you go on to the, the Chinese uh, online chat room or the forum online forum what you can see at the moment from lots of people who commented uh, one very usual comment was that the people uh, the legislators in the Democratic Party have been there for so long mm. that they lost their guts mm. uh, they are not really fighting for democracy treat it as a job mm. always play it safe mm. And should they, they've been there for all the time and, and mm. should we, and were they really wholeheartedly, uh, uh, were they wholeheartedly supporting universal suffrage? I mean, the thing is that what really pissed people off is that they have been talking about fighting for universal suffrage all the time. Mm. And all they did, what, what they did, Matt, only annual demonstration, mm. July the 1st. Mm. And, uh, sometimes, uh, the Democratic Party had jumped from the sea before, uh, or to get the people's attention, not much else. Mm. And then now you are uh, uh, arguing against the five constituencies referendum, de facto mm. referendum. But you are not putting any better solution on mm. the table. Right. Yeah. So it's really, really discouraging. Mm. I think. Yeah. yeah, you're right about that. You know it, it, that um, you know, they should at least be willing to come up with some sort of better. Um, strategy or um, solution, I think. But and, it, it uh, is interesting that, yeah. that, that um, there is a small group of um, the Democratic Party, um, you know, the sort of the younger, few younger members, I think, who are have split, you know, who've um, who've who voted against it. You know, it's twenty percent of members did, um, voted uh, in the opposite direction um, and were pr- sort of protesting outside the meeting a bit, I think, as well. Um, I mean, what do you make about that, and h- how will that sort of play out and stuff? Do you think they'll, they'll they, they might potentially that group might split away from the Democratic Party potentially. Yes, because that's right. Because you know, if you really took a look at the Democratic Party commitment and what they have really done in terms of uh, getting people's attention to fight for the uh, universal suffrage, I think the younger sector, the younger people, the younger supporters of the Democratic Party, mm. uh, really saw that. Hmm. Wait a minute. Last time I saw you guys uh, did uh, initiate to fly the Democrat- Democratic kite. Mm. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, I have nothing really, really us- uh, useful. And then now you have something which can quantify the support of.